All right, now that we've got this thing trimmed, seasoned, it's ready for the brisket cook. So we're gonna get that big piece of meat on there. So be fat side to the fire, lean side back here, pointing towards the smokestack. It's ready to get cooking. When we start our fire, we start it right around 250 degrees. We'll run a dirtier smoke. Uh, when the brisket's cooler, it's gonna, it's gonna take on the smoke a little bit better. Um, and then gradually throughout the cook, we'll jack that temperature up. So we'll, like I said, we'll start at 250. We'll slowly get it up to 275 and we might finish off at 300. It really just depends on the weather conditions. Um, and remember, each pit is different. So just because we're starting at 250, you know, in your smaller pit at home, you might start at 200 or 225. It's really just figuring out your cooker. So our brisket's now three hours in. We're gonna take a look at it real fast and see how it's cooking. As you can see here, the bark's starting to uh, form pretty good. Got a little moisture on top. You always wanna drain that off. When you drain that, that grease off there, it's gonna help with the bark formation. Uh, about three hours in now, it's time to start spritzing a little bit. We'll keep the outside of it real moist so it doesn't char up any. So we're about eight hours into the cook of what's looking like it's gonna be around a 12 hour cook and it's wrap time. How we know it's time to wrap is you've got this fat starting to bubble up a little bit right here. We've seen that we've got a good bark formation and uh, at this point it's time to wrap. To wrap or to not wrap, that's the question. You don't have to wrap, but here at Terry Black's Barbecue, we prefer to wrap. Were you just using a uh, standard butcher paper? Uh, you can buy it at any butcher store online. Uh, pretty cheap, pretty easy. Some people choose to use foil. We don't. The paper's going to be a little more porous. It's going to let it breathe as opposed to foil, which is considered the Texas crutch. Um, that's going to boil it. We don't like that. So um, yeah, we, we, we choose to use paper. Before we wrap, we're going to start spritzing it just to give a little moisture. That's going to help the paper not to stick and pull off the bark after it's been cooking several hours. What we're using here is just a basic apple cider uh, vinegar. There you have it, that easy. That's how you wrap a brisket. So we're 12 hours in. We've been running the fire right around 300 degrees. It's a little colder today. It's time to check and uh, see what's happening. So, I can fill in the sides, it's pretty soft. I can fill underneath, it's pretty soft on the lean side. Let's open it up and uh, we're gonna check it out. When you do open it up, be sure to open it up carefully just so you don't pull any bark off. It's looking pretty dang good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check for, uh, for tenderness. We're not necessarily looking for temperature. Um, some people might temp it and it would you know, be done right around 205 degrees, but we don't check for temperature just softness on the lean side. So what I've got here is a cheap little $2 probe. You can use an ice pick, and you're gonna probe about three inches in on the lean side, like so. We're feeling for resistance. This brisket, it's going in real smooth, real soft. There's no resistance. So that's how I know this brisket's gonna be done. If you poke it on the moist side, you're not gonna have much resistance because there's a lot more fat on that side. So really about three inches on the lean side and you're good to go. And we're done.